Tyne Lunn and her daughter Ava are off on a bike ride alongside the mighty Peace River. Tyne grew up an hour and a half southwest of here in Spirit River. She moved to Peace River in 2004 after completing her primary paramedic care training. She loves the rural lifestyle. I like the pace of it. I like that uh, I live in a community that has every amenity needed. Um, I can go out and get my groceries and I can run into a friend or a neighbor. Tyne's day as a community paramedic starts at 7 in the morning. Okay. She begins by checking to see if she has all the supplies and equipment she needs for her day on the road. For most paramedics, giving medications to patients is out of scope, but for Tyne, it's a big part of her day. Good morning, Ian. It's Tyne calling. Initially, Tyne started her career working with Air Ambulance, then switched to Ground Ambulance. In 2018, when the province expanded the community paramedic program to include Peace River, she jumped at the opportunity. When you're working on an operational 911 ambulance and you're getting called to go help somebody in crisis or in an emergency, um, you're going to render immediate care and then take them to a hospital or a health facility. Whereas now my job as a community paramedic is the exact opposite. My job is to determine a way and build care plans with physicians and allied stakeholders to be able to provide acute, urgent care, continuing care, palliative care in place. It's a successful work day when uh, there's no need for me to have to transport my clients. Tyne's first stop is to provide care for an elderly client in her apartment. Due to COVID, we weren't allowed to film in the patient's suite. It was a quick stop, but visits like this can prevent patients with mobility issues from having to go to the hospital for care. I had a lady with a, a big red spot on her leg. She was wheelchair bound. It was very difficult for her to get in. All I needed to do was have a look at it. I was able to get the community paramedic to go to the home, take a picture of it, send me the picture with the patient's permission, of course, and I could tell that it wasn't infected, it didn't need antibiotics. And the accessibility that our local physicians provide to us is just, it's immeasurable in terms of my clinical practice and having them as a resource for, for learning and for mentorship. Next up, a stop at the Peace River RCMP detachment. Thanks for coming. Uh, basically the issue is that we have... An Earlier in the morning, a man had been acting irrational and aggressive at the local Walmart. The RCMP suspected he was suffering a mental health emergency. He was taken into custody. It's just kind of like this area is firing, this area is firing. But sometimes when people are struggling with mental health crises, uh, their behavior can be dangerous to themselves or to others. So the police first and foremost did their work of making sure public safety was upheld and maintained. And then once they had the public member safely away from public, they then called in for our services to take care of this person. That way all the needs were met for the community and the person who was needing the help. Police can do better work when they have our support and we can do better work with our clients when we have the police support. Next up, a trip 50 kilometers west of Peace River to visit with a client. When we moved into the Peace River area to start up our community paramedic program, um, that was truly one of our first uh, unique rural sites and Pine's been instrumental in um, kind of building the partnerships up in that local area, advocating for the type of services that we provide, uh, and really going beyond just that clinical practitioner uh, to kind of that real program advocate. She arrives at this rural home to provide antibiotics for a client who has a serious blood infection. It's a very stubborn infection to treat, so instead of him uh, being able to take some antibiotics by mouth and uh, carry on with his day, um, it physically debilitated him to the point where he was no longer able to drive, uh, had a very hard time walking. So instead of having to make the 54 kilometer return trip to the hospital in Grimshaw three times a day, he only has to do it twice. That feels okay? Can't feel nothing. Okay. Well, we come out in the middle of the day and it allows him to have better rest, to be able to be home convalescing, uh, which just contributes more to his healing, more around his family. I just think it's awesome. It's great. It's for me, like there's other people too, if they can't get around, like 
Either that or being stuck in a hospital. Like, like right now, they can be at home and actually live more of a normal life. When I'm coming out to someone's own home to bring service to them, there's already just a different sense of um, comfort and relaxation, and I'm finding that that sets me up to be able to build uh, a very good trusting rapport with the patients and their families. Tyne's shift wraps up at 7 p.m., but her dedication goes way beyond her normal work hours. Here are just a few examples. Tyne hosted the Interossia Skills Station for post-secondary healthcare students at an RPAP-sponsored event in Peace River. She volunteers to speak with high school students about the risks and consequences of impaired driving. Tyne was amazing. Tyne took the program really from its original inception as an opportunity for students to see what happens in the back of an ambulance to a really educational, structured um, event that really gave students the opportunity to understand the consequences, the medical consequences. Tyne took part in My Grief Toolbox. My Grief Toolbox is an online resource that helps support paramedics who are starting to provide palliative care support for patients. Tyne participated in focus groups and an online video. And she continues to be a huge advocate for um, just grief work in paramedicine as well. Congratulations to Tyne Lund, community paramedic in Peace River, recipient of a 2020 RPAP Rhapsody Healthcare Heroes Award. It feels wonderful, it feels amazing to uh, be acknowledged for my work in this way, but the even greater piece that I just am very excited about is how it highlights and showcases the incredible work that is paramedicine and how we are such an essential, capable piece of our healthcare system. Congratulations, Tyne, on the Rhapsody Award. Very well deserved. The whole program is the proud of the work that you've done up in Peace River. Thank you for everything that you've done in our community and continue to do to support the people of this area. She's personable, the patients love her. Thank you for everything you do for paramedicine. I can't think of somebody better to represent our profession.